Dana, before we go to break, mm -hmm. I heard you have an interesting DNA question. Oh, yes, this just came out in the news. Uh, I think it was in Slovakia or Romania. They did a study on that when you kiss, that your DNA is left in the other person's mouth through the saliva, and it will last for up to at least 10 minutes so that you can test, yeah. you know, you can find out information. Well, if we're going to mm -hmm. do a DNA test on ourselves, you scrape the in your inner cheek. So there's DNA floating around your mouth all the time. So, yeah, a good deep you kiss, some of that DNA will get it kind of linger right. in the other person's mouth. And actually, it's more than 10 minutes, up to 60 minutes it can mm -hmm. still be in there. So but what's interesting that is that the some... study could only find the Y chromosome in it. So that means yeah. women can get away with murder. Uh -oh. Jim, <laughs> let's, see, let's see if this works. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, All right. I want 10 now minute we, feedback here, buddy. Now we need a forensic pathologist to figure it out. I think you need more than that. The one, the one thing that you I certainly can say is that gonna... if you are going to take any sort of genetic test and you're going to swab your mouth, do not kiss yeah. beforehand. Mm -hmm. Because if you do, they may be testing your partner's DNA and not yours. That could be That confusing. could clean problems. It could really be the kiss of death. <laughs> oh. Whoa! Yeah. Then you have to get frozen. <laughs> then you, you get frozen next to a set of double D breasts. <laughs> yeah. That's heaven. You, that's your heaven right there, and man. all that work Listen, you put in. Dana, are, you, are you sure you want to stick around? <laughs> Listen, I, no, I, I was, men have been using their penises as weapons for years. There you go. So, oh. it's, it's about time. Oh.